triple X. All right. All right. All right. Let's do it. All right, guys. Here today to um, talk to you about Centerpiece Arcades. Uh, very cool arcade company. I first got hip to these guys uh, on Facebook. Um, they do have a respectable track record. They've been turning out arcades for a few years. And um, I see feedback from customers. Uh, I've actually talked with a customer that has one. And uh, I've heard nothing but good things, to be honest. So I haven't heard anything bad about these guys. Uh, they got some interesting cabinets. They seem to be working on a, um, a stand-up pinball, vertical pinball arcade that looks pretty cool. I know VP Cabs had one like this, and um, it was very nice. But this one looks nice. Not sure of that. Doesn't seem to be final yet. Um, they make a variety of different products. So let's get into it. They got a two player full size 32 inch, a 43 inch upright, a two player pedestal, a four player pedestal. And um, they also got a 32 inch slim. So they got a few different options. Um, they also have a dedicated vertical too. The dedicated vertical is about two grand, which looks pretty cool. That'd be great for shooters. Okay, they do have the vertical pin bar. Here we go. Uh, looks like they're asking about four grand for that. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, the forty-three inch upright interests me. Clearly, I can see this is a. Uh, it looks very similar to a monster arcade design. I'm not sure if they're using the exact same cabinet. It seems to be pretty straightforward though. Um, and it's very possible this could be the cabinet that monster arcade sells. I'm not sure, but it looks very similar. Um, for that, I will say this, they make really well made cabinets. So I'm sure this is a quality product. Um, from my understanding, these machines are PC powered by Hyperspin. And um, from the conversation I've had and talk with them, and uh, they look like they got some really nice uh, artwork. And they seem to be really well made from what I can tell. Uh, I know this is a smaller operation out of Colorado. And uh, they seem to be turning out some pretty decent stuff. Pretty solid stuff from what I can see. Um, they aren't the cheapest, you know, um, and, you know, it's pretty much starting somewhere in the 35 to 4,000 range. And then when you add on other toys and options, um, it raises the cabinet up. And remember, this is without shipping too. So that's going to be another likely 300 plus for these type styles of cabinets. Um. So that's something to keep in mind. I think most imp I think most importantly, excuse me. I think most importantly um the four player pedestal seems to be a really nice deal. It's really well made. It's got a coin door and it just seems to be really well made. I think the pedestal is pretty nice. Honestly, I'll be honest. I think this is one of the best pedestals in the game. Like, if you look at how it's built, it's got the kick plate. Uh, it's got the front with the yard work. I mean, this is literally beyond a pedestal. This is literally a front end of an arcade cabinet, just without the, the monitor and the marquee. So, for 2500 that's pretty fly. You can literally get like a 50-inch TV and hang that on a stand and you would be in business so this is really good um, I don't have too many details on what's included with the hyperspin PC I talked with these guys a good while ago and I remember it being uh, a pretty decent build it wasn't anything really exotic or over-the-top game wise uh, but I remember it somewhere being in the thirty to 40,000 game range. Maybe it's gone up since then. Uh, it's a respectable system. I think it was about four terabytes then. Not sure if it was an eight terabyte setup. 
But uh, yeah, it was a respectable uh, hyperspin setup uh, with good PC specs from uh, the last Facebook conversation I had with them and I've looked over. Uh, but yeah, their pedestal is, is, is on. Design-wise for what they're charging, and compared to something like EHA, which is like well over four grand for their pedestal, this is a bargain. So something to keep in mind, the two player is only 2100, which is even better. Even though I would definitely go four player, but like, look at this. This is real badass, man. So I think personally, um, their 43 inch upright, you know, it's a really good, it's a good, robust looking cab that seems to be well made. Uh, like I said, it looks similar to pretty much the monster cabinet. It may be their cabinet they're using. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, yeah, it's a real made cabinet. And uh, if it is, I can kind of more understand the price. Um, not the cheapest, not the most expensive either, but it's looking at this that makes you understand and just come be so thankful about just how affordable the arcade guys 43 inch retro plus is. It's literally two grand cheaper than that cabinet. Even though it's not PC based, it still has a ton of games and it's two grand cheaper. So that's you know that's what really stands out to me when looking at and doing comparisons with everything. So, but that said, you know, um, hmm. Interesting thing here is that uh, I see they offer a mini pinball, but they don't have it on the site. So I don't know if this is an older product or what. Yeah, this seems to be from a couple years ago. Um, okay, it looks like they're still under construction based on uh, this comment here. Someone asking if they still had them and right, they said they're working quick. on them or whatever. So I guess that's an option. Not sure what the uh, not sure what the prices would be for it or whatever. So anyway. Just wanted to show off uh, Centerpiece Arcades and give them a little shout out. They seem to be turning out a pretty good product. And uh, I'm in, overall, I'm really impressed with their pedestal. Uh, the vertical pinball machine looks cool. Me personally, I think that's probably a little overpriced. And I don't want to insult them because it looks like they put a good uh, amount of effort into it. And it's got the dual screens and everything. It's extremely cool. But uh, at four grand is pretty pricey. Um, the four player seems to be a respectable deal, considering what you get. I still would need more deal, more introspect and information on what the build is. Uh, the thirty-two inch doesn't seem like too bad of a price. It looks like a respectable setup. So anyway, guys, just wanted to get centerpiece a little love and uh, shout them out and um, show off their products and get my opinions on what I see. Anyway, 3XLex out and I'll get with you on the next one. Peace.